So I want to talk about longevity today. And um, it's pretty, I think it's pretty interesting because I think the generation, um, probably my generation, actually, it's probably the millennials um, and above are concerned, particularly concerned about um, their health and particularly concerned about different elements of their health. And I was pondering this, and I mean, we'll never know really what the answer is, but I was pondering about, we, I guess we will in a hundred years, that I, I strongly believe that this actually makes a difference on, um, you know, how long that you actually live. So I suspect that there is a bifurcation that's happening and, and not necessarily like, um, you know, the sort of distinct line, but it's kind of this continuum that the people that focus on their health and try to do things that help out your health, um, that those people will live um, quite a bit longer than what we're actually used to. But there's also a group within the millennials that um, are being exposed to things that are not necessarily all that great, like, um, you know, drug abuse that we haven't had before, right? So we're seeing a really stark difference, I think, on either ends of the spectrum where, um, you know, we haven't seen the sort of likes of this, right? So we have on one end, we have the sort of health fanatics that are very much focused on different elements of health and taking it seriously. It's not like, uh, you know, that there was probably a bit of a health craze that was going on in the 1970s, um, but that health craze was less focused. It was very um, competitive driven. And I think millennials are the first to not be as competitive driven and being as so like red in the face all the time um, and more focused on, okay, let's figure out more of a holistic way of driving our health, right? So uh, let's just try to, let's just sit, try to stay healthy, right? And sort of figure out those things. And if there's something that's going on in mental health and we sort of address those things, all of that stuff, if you compound it, um, you know, it does add up. I, I, but, you know, there's no evidence of that um, at this moment in terms of, you know, are these people going to live longer? I believe that they will in the sense that we will be maximizing more of our life um, in the sense that, that you'll be able to live, um, you know, more of the sort of human potential. So, you know, there'll probably be people that are living to 100, to 110, uh, quite reasonably in terms of their, their potential, right? But then on the other side, we have this unprecedented, particularly in America, um, it's heartbreaking that the the, the the sort of opioid crisis that's going on, not only opioids, but this new drug called Trank, it's just devastating when you see this number of people that are, are abusing. Um, it's remarkable how much the streets of major cities are full of people that are on these drugs uh, and, and wandering around. I think the reason why they're so stark, I think lots of people could abuse before in their homes, but now you know, you go to the street and then, you know, they inject and, and you see them. It's a lot more in the open. Um, so I do think that group, that's a hard life. Um, and, you know, if you're abusing drugs in that way, I don't know what the numbers are, but I suspect that your longevity is cut way, way back. Now, you know, coming back to why that there's a lot of it's a it's a you know it's a very deep challenging problem why do people actually turn to drugs that there's something going on that's not being addressed um 
you know, in some sort of way, right, that we need to sort of coach and help people too. And that's, but that's a really, really tough problem that requires a lot of resources um, where, you know, families, for example, are not, are not sort of, they're not providing the support, um, you know, all sorts of, all sorts of different elements. The education system's not providing the support. Like there is a lot of elements that are going on there that require a lot more social support uh, to address some of these more challenging things. And then when they're on the street, like, hey, you know, let's think about social support of the, the people on the street so it's easier for them to, to get off of them, right? We stigmatize drugs. Obviously it's hard for, harder for them to, to get off of the streets. But, um, you know, on the opposite side of thinking about the sort of health craze movement, um, and it's not, so this is, so there's the, I would say the 70s was much more of a health craze movement, but now it's more of a, let's figure out how to live a healthy life and what that actually looks like and sort of pinpoint different elements of your life that might be not doing so well and let's address those things. Now, that's, that's a really, you know, I talk about that a fair bit on on this podcast and I don't think I'm the only one of my generation that sort of thinks about this. And you see, you know, a number of people that are trying to address this problem in various different ways. Um, and, you know, that is a wonderful thing to see because human potential um, there's just a lot of human potential that's there, uh, you know, that you, we can do a great deal over this course of how long we actually live. So um, I think it's a fascinating thing to look at. I think that there is a lot of potential that's there. And I think it's, it's not an easy problem. Right. So even if, you know, it's not an easy problem to sort of, you know, it's wonderful to sort of see um, people focusing on more the holistic person, but that's also part of the challenge. Right. So the more that you see differences between human beings in society, the more likely some people are going to feel um, left out or not part of society, you know, rejected. And then they're more likely to be exposed to things that are not necessarily great for them, um, like drug abuse and things like that. So it's a really challenging problem that we need to, um, you know, it's, it's on one side, on one side of the spectrum, it's really nice to see and to see people sort of being thoughtful about this, uh, their health care. But then on the other side, man, it's heartbreaking. Um, to see people just not being, you know, not there, right? They're, they're sort of not addressing any of the issues in their life. Um, you know, what's the easy solution? There's no easy solutions. That are, that's what it comes down to. And I think it's making incremental changes, you know, being just being helpful um, to one person trying to make a, a difference in somebody else's per in, in their life. And that's it. I think that's the ultimate way that you actually do that. Um, and how we improve health altogether. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful day.